This video is for those of you who've had issues with your RV overheating, especially in regard to a diesel motor home with a side radiator that has a puller fan. So it sucks a bunch of crud up in the side there. I replaced my thermostats, replaced the fan itself, the hydraulic pump, changed the fluid, everything, and this ended up being the simple, easy trick to it. First step is you wanna clean the outside of the radiator. When my mechanic asked me if I had done this, I told him yes, because I had taken a hose and sprayed it all out top to bottom. The true answer to that was no, I did not do it because I did not do it properly or long enough. So this is a trick to actually get in there and get all that junk out. There are four different radiators in most of these motorhomes. You have an oil cooler, trans cooler, intercooler, and then the main radiator itself. We wanna make sure we can get something with a garden hose that can get up and in there and clean out in between all those. We call it the sandwich. We gotta get in there and wash it all out. This is the unit that I purchased, being on the road full time, as we know, can pose some issues for ordering stuff online. So this is actually one that came from Target called the turbo jet it was on the shelf in the hose department but there are a couple different options uh, my buddy had one from harbor freight or i know there are some at home depot and lowe's this one is great it's actually longer than the one that he had so i really like that it's probably about three feet long uh, so i would recommend it the only issue is that i had to add these fittings on the top these are gas lines from ace hardware this is the fitting that comes with it in addition there's also another one that's more of a jet stream I used this fan spray fitting and I just went, like I said, and got these two gas fittings to make a 90 degree because you need to have it long enough to get up and then make a turn in. Having a straight fitting off here won't do the trick. So after you have it hooked up to the hose, you're going to want to get under it and clean both sides front and back. Get back behind the radiator fan and spray all of this out. Now, what you'll start to see when you're cleaning is sediment coming out. This is good, this is what we want. Look at all that junk that's coming out of here. This is sand, all kinds of crud. Now keep in mind, I did this three weeks ago and just the dirt roads out here, Colorado, California. This is the stuff I'm getting out of it. This is good. The whole pavement is all full of this sediment here. Can see it running all the way out the back of the coach here tons of it just thin thin silt if you're gonna spend the time buying the parts and putting the thing together you might as well spend 15 20 minutes under there just blasting it out until you're soaked head to toe don't want to see you come out until your hair is wet really clean it out well it's worth all the time before I cleaned my radiator out, and even after I did all the changes to the thermostat and the fan, I was running around 220 average on a flat road going 65. And then it would start creeping up to 230, 240 going uphill, and I would just have to pull over and shut her down to let it cool off. After cleaning it out on flat land, I was running more like 170 or 180, and the only time I would get up to 210 or 220 is if I was really working it hard full throttle up a hill. So this really did the trick when nothing else did. So we're going 60 uphill, back down to running around 170, 180, so looking pretty good. Just some final thoughts. My coach is a 96 with an inline six Cummins 8.3. When I drive, I run mostly in the mountains towing a 30 foot trailer that weighs about eight or 10,000 pounds. So I consider myself a pretty good test for uh, overheating issues. And uh, if I can keep it cool, you guys should have no issues even if you're towing a small vehicle. Thanks for watching and if this video is helpful, please hit like and subscribe.